Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really, really excited for today's video. I was not gonna do a review on this, on the new Artistry Studio collection, but I got a lot of DMs asking me if I was gonna post a video, when I was gonna post a video, and just like wanting to like know my thoughts on the new collection. So I, I ordered it late. So I ordered it like a week later and I've just been testing it out and playing around with it. And honestly, I am really, really impressed with this collection. It is so, so good. Well, the makeup products. I don't have here with me the perfumes or the bar soaps that came out. They did also just launch the brow waxing kit today, which I did order. So when that comes in, I will be making a video with that product. But for today's video, we're just gonna be talking about the makeup products. These are really really good i am gonna be honest though when it first launched like when they first did the reveal of the collection like i just i wasn't impressed i thought that they could have done more and i still think that i feel like after testing out the collection and just like being blown away by the product formulas like i really wish that they would have done more like i wish that they would have done more shades like these eyeshadows are so good like they're really good i really wish that they would have done more shades in this i'm really impressed with this collection like i really didn't think that i would be just because with the recent collections i haven't i mean i have i haven't really like been that impressed anymore the way that i was with the paris collection with the new york collection but this one this one is really really good for today's video i did do like a sort of like a full face of artistry i created this like very pretty like a springy look it's like very like fresh and effortless and just like natural i think it's like the sixth collection in the artistry studio line and honestly i want to say it's one of the best ones as far as the makeup goes because of the formula the packaging for this collection is so pretty like i'm i'm thinking of like keeping it just because it's so so pretty and i usually just like i'll appreciate it and take a picture of it and then just like leave it on my desk for a little bit but then i'll just like toss them out but ever since i got these like i haven't thrown them away and i think i'm just gonna keep them but they are just so pretty like i really like the packaging the highlighter i think it's a very very nice highlighter it's like a champagne -y, pinky sort of shade and it's just like a little bomb and this apparently you can use it on your cheekbones just to like highlight the skin and you can also use it on the eyes so i think that this would be a great product for like a no makeup makeup look but i really like the highlighter i think it's it's not like blinding or super pigmented but it's more of like a natural highlighter and again keep in mind with los angeles just with the whole collection it's very like natural makeup which is something that has been really really trendy this highlighter stick it's great for like an everyday use like it's so easy to like blend out and what i like is that you could either like apply it like warm it up with your finger and then apply it like that or you can also just like go ahead and just like apply it directly like this and it didn't like lift or like move around any of my foundation. It did also launch two, what are these? These are two eyeshadow creams. So there's only like two shades. And honestly, I really wish that they would have done more. Like the formula of these are so, so good. Never really that impressed with their eyeshadows just because I feel like they're not as pigmented as they should be and they're just very like hard to work with so I'm not the biggest fan of their eyeshadows but these are so so good they're so pigmented they glide on so easily they're like eyeshadows like from other different brands they get really clumpy when you are like applying them and it does not happen with these and another thing to also note about this whole collection is that it is waterproof like they do not bump they do not wear off they're very long wearing and these are just so so good they're so good i like i i am in love with the formula for these like they're just amazing and these are like also great for like an everyday use you could either like do like a little bit of like bronzer or like another like um just like throw in whatever eyeshadow shade in like your crease and then you could just like apply these all over the lid your mascara and then that's it it'll look like you spent so much time doing your eyes but really you just went in with like two products these shades remind me of 
these eyeshadow duos that they had launched like years ago this was like way before the artistry studio collection was born they were limited edition and i remember i love them so much i'm gonna insert a picture of them i don't remember what that collection was called all i remember is that it was limited edition and they came out with like two eyeshadow duos there was like a blue shade a gold shade a champagne shade and then a shade that was very similar to this one it was like a copper shade and i remember i used those every single day i think i finished them up and they were just so good and i actually back then that was when artistry didn't have like a highlighter so i would use the champagne eyeshadow as a highlighter and it was so blinding and i would have so many people ask me like what did you use like what are you wearing so there are only two shades the one that i'm gonna swatch first is the shade la sand this is what i actually used for today's look and this is just like one swipe right here oh my god my lighting is like messing this all up you can't really see it that well let me focus it right here oh my god no focus right here so that's just like one swipe and i'm gonna go in and do another do another one here but yeah like look at that shade that is so pretty and again like it doesn't get clumpy and you can either apply these like directly or you could go ahead and like put them on your on your hands or whatever and then just apply with your brush this next shade this is more of like a copper shade this is the shade la sunset this one's also very very pretty but yeah so here are the swatches they're just so so pretty like i really like these this is the pacific proof brow perfector they did launch two shades so there is a taupe shade and then there is a basic brown shade like if you don't want to go in with the brow pencil or you don't want to go in with a brow pen or a pomade and you just want to quickly do your brows then you're really going to like this product because with this you just go in brush your brows and then that's it you could just call it a day that's it it's so easy to use the only thing about this is that it is very pigmented and this picks up a lot of product so i would really like just like scrape off as much product as possible because it can get a little hard to blend out because it really like clings onto your brows and it it's hard to come off like i was struggling to take this off the other day with my cleanser and even with like with the makeup remover like the artistry makeup remover oh my god i'm almost done with this and ya lo quitaron because a new one is coming out but even with this like it's hard to come off like it is so waterproof it does not budge it's very long wearing I really just like going in with the brow gel applying it to my brows and then whatever like sparse areas i'll go in with like a brow pen or a brow pencil and just like finish filling them in but this really just like does everything for you you don't really have to go in with so much product after you apply this product and i really like how it just like combs my brows and sets them into place so i really like this product i think it's great the last makeup product that i have to talk about for this collection it's the lights camera lip oil gloss they have two shades there's like a blue shade but that one it's just like a clear shade um and then the one that i have here it's the pacific coral one so it is a very pretty coral um lip oil i really like the applicator like it's very easy to apply on your lips and i love the color like i don't have on any other lip color with this um and it also doesn't feel like sticky and it doesn't it kind of feels like a lip balm it feels very lightweight and it just adds like a little bit of color and your lips feel very moisturized and nice i don't know i think this is another great like everyday product if you guys have tried the blue one let me know if you like it down below in the comment section and let me know if it's worth getting or not i really like this product i think it's great let me just reapply it and it smells nice it smells like coconutty it smells like yeah it smells coconutty like if you pick up any of the makeup products i really don't think that you guys are going to be disappointed with with this collection like it's really nice i am honestly like blown away by the formula and the quality for the makeup this time i feel like they did put a lot of more effort into this collection and i really wish that they would have done more products like i really wish they would have done more shades for the lip oils the eyeshadows and i really wish they would have even done like a bronzer like 
sort of like the highlighter like a cream bronzer maybe even a blush i would recommend picking up any of the makeup products like i don't think you guys are going to be disappointed i'm very happy with all of this let me know what you guys picked up and also share your thoughts on the collection down below so before we get into the tutorial portion please make sure to subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy and yeah so let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial so I already applied a primer and I used the glow finish primer from the Shanghai edition collection I really like this primer just because it leaves you with like a nice base like I like how it nicely preps the skin and it leaves you with such a pretty like glow from within look I'm gonna let it set for a bit then for lips I'm just gonna be using the lip balm from the artistry studio collection this is the pamper pout and this is both a lip balm and also an overnight mask I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows now they launched a new brow product so we finally have a brow gel this is something that I have been so excited for to try out and use and this is the pacific proof brow perfector they do have two shades there's like a taupe colored and then there's just like a basic brown the thing about this collection is that the products are waterproof and let me just say that this thing it is waterproof i actually tried to like remove it with just like my cleanser and some water it would not budge it was so hard to come off this is just what the product looks like i really like the packaging i think it's cute and you just open it up and here is the wand on this side and then all the product is over here but pretty much for the wand like it's such a like it's a very like small thin want I really just like to take this and just like brush out my brows with it i really like how it like lays the product down how it just like sets into the brows and it just easily like fills them in for you so this is a great product to use like on an everyday basis but i am just going to start with brushing them up and over here and as you can see like how it sort of also kind of like makes them look fuller and thicker so then when you actually like if you want to then go in and like fill in like any sparse areas like you don't really have to go in with so much product anymore and like so let me just clean this up here but yeah so that's just how it looks now Like this one looks a lot more fuller than this one does just because with this one I did pick up a little bit more product for foundation I'm gonna be taking the youth extend foundation and I'm gonna be mixing in a little bit of the CBD oil from artistry Just because I really want that like glowy Look overall, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these off camera so foundation is on I did also already like go ahead and put a little bit of concealer on um, But now just to finish up the brows I'm gonna be taking the three and one brow shaper and I'm just gonna like very lightly fill in my brows I'm gonna be taking this angled morphe brush. This is the M oh My god, what is this called? This is the m165 the brow gel really like added like a lot of already like color and um and really did like most of the filling in for me already so i'm just gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit more brows are ready i'm not that crazy about them only because they do look like a little bit too dark they do look a little bit too dark but it's fine i do really like the formula though i really like how it just like quickly like fills them in and they just like stay in place so i'm going to be working out of these two on the go palettes from artistry these are no longer available unfortunately i will forever be wishing for a restock on these but i'm going to be using the palette liberty light along with midtown medium and then we'll go in with one of these two i think i really i really want to go in with this one this one it's one of the 
um, eyeshadow cream. So this is the Pacific Proof Eyeshadow Cream and this is in the shade LA Sand. And honestly, this is the one that I have been using. I really like this one. This one is also really nice. This is more of like a coppery sort of shade. And then this one is more of like a gold shade. If you watch my videos and you would know that this is like my favorite, favorite artistry palette like this is like the best one the formula in these palettes is just amazing mine has been like just so well loved like the powder is amazing this blush is so good this highlighter shade is amazing i love this brown shade i love this shade this one not too crazy about it but i'll still use it so i'm just gonna be taking this first shade right here and i'm just going to like use this sort of to like highlight underneath my brow bone God, I should have washed my brushes, but I haven't washed them. Um, for the crease, I'm going to be taking this blush shade, which is just like the perfect coral shade. Tap off that excess, and I'm just taking this like very, just taking this like fluffy brush. And I'm just going to be taking this shade like all in my crease. be taking that like brown shade i'm just gonna like work that like aqui afuera whatever's left over i'm just like running it underneath the lower lash line i'm just gonna be blending everything out this this brush i know it is for sure clean i just bought this like lightly run that over those shades a uh, shade that I'm gonna be popping like all over the lid, it's this one. This is the LA Sand. I'm just gonna take more of this brown shade and I'm just gonna like focus it like aquí afuera, like right here. I'm gonna be adding a little bit of mascara. I am gonna be going in with some falsies, um, but I'm just gonna curl them, apply some mascara. This is the Artistry Studio Lash Boosting 3-in-1 Mascara, which is my favorite one. And I'm gonna be popping on some lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. I do like a little bit of like bronzer. So I'm gonna be taking the Artistry Blush in the shade Golden Light. I feel like this is like one of the most like underrated products from Artistry. And this is like, one of my absolute favorites this is like such a great neutral oh my god this is disgusting but this is such a great neutral shade to use to either do like contour or bronzing with else i don't know i feel like i use it for both and i also really like to use this as like an eyeshadow i love the pigmentation i love how easy it blends out and like i said i feel like it's one of those it's like one of the most like underrated products from artistry like i don't really see a lot of people use this or talk about this which it deserves so much hype and i've gone through so many of these put some right here you know that double chin and then just right here i am like sweating with these lights like i haven't done this in such a long time i'm sweating and i don't have a window open just because there's like a lot of noise outside and look my neighbors are making noise and they're just here and I'm just likely hit at the sides of my nose for blush I'm gonna be taking the cheek and lip duo this was from the Paris collection and this is the peach shade so so cute can you tell that I watch TikTok? because I like putting it over here and not like here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of like the coral blush from the Midtown Medium palette just on that same artistry brush and just put some over that just for like a little bit more. I love blush so much. 
kind of just like a little bit on the nose because apparently that's what's in now like this is the light lights camera face stick I really like the packaging for this collection like it's so cute um, and this is just what the product itself looks like here it is it's so pretty like such a pretty shade so this is a two-in-one highlighter and dewy glow bomb stick its opaque outer core gives a universal pinky nude sheen and its translucent inner core bomb provides a dewy glowy finish the result a perfect amount of luminosity and radiant glow to your face used to accent and highlight cheekbones and eyelids oh you could also use this on your eyelids i feel like that would be great for like a no makeup makeup day infused with hyaluronic acid conditioning moisturizers coconut oil and vitamin e nutrients to help provide that hydrated radiant and dewy finish and it's paraben free fragrance free Free of animal derived ingredients and it says you could also apply like on your collarbone your shoulders and chest area too okay that's nice you could either just like apply like directly on or you could go ahead and like apply it with your finger i would first though like recommend sort of like warming the product up a little bit so i sort of like take my finger like this just to get it to like warm up it's gonna take a little bit on here And it is like a very like natural highlight like it's not gonna be as like blinding on the first try like how the like the highlighter what was it from the new york collection i'll insert a picture of it here like that one was like those are like blinding highlighters um and it won't be also like as blinding as like this one either but it's like a very like natural highlighter so you can see like you could still see it like it's pretty but it's not like bam like in your face for this side i'm gonna like apply like directly on here so like and i am like not noticing it like dragging or like moving the foundation underneath which is great yeah like it's not that like in your face like it's very it looks just very like natural it just looks natural it looks pretty i'm gonna take a little bit like here on like the inner corner I really want to try it on the eyes. I bet that would look I bet that would look cute. I'm just gonna be taking my makeup setting spray from Artistry. So now just to finish everything off, we're gonna go in for the lips. We launched the Lights Camera Lip Oil Gloss. There is two shades. I have the coral one here, and then there is like a bluish sort of shade but i believe it's just like it's like sheer this hydrates lips for ultra moisture and a lustrous glow and yeah so it's just a sheer gloss it's lightweight gel oil hybrid formula that's infused with the fresh squeeze smoothies worth of lip carrying moisturizing goodies like coconut oil olive oil sunflower seed oil shea butter vitamin e and more it's nourishing and not sticky with a sweet coconutty flavor flavor so i wiped off the lip balm that i have on and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this so you could apply this like over a lipstick you could like line your lips or you could just use it on its own i really like the other day like lining my lips but for today's video i am just gonna go ahead and apply it on its own and like you could see like that color already coming through feels just like very hydrating on the lips it does not feel sticky at all and it smells really nice it smells really nice i really like the packaging on this as well like this is so cute i love this color i really like this collection like the makeup products i really don't have anything bad to say about these like this gets honestly i am gonna give the makeup products like a four out of five i don't give it a five just because i feel like they should have done more like i i don't know like does anyone else feel like all of the other studio collections like there's like so many products like there's so much like there's so many different shades um but i feel like with this one they went very minimal with it which okay i like it too but at the same time like these products like the formula is like 
it's it's really really good and i really wish they would have done more shade i really like how this makeup look came out it's just so natural so pretty so fresh so effortless like honestly and it just looks so so nice hope that you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below and leave a comment what's what products did you enjoy from this collection what would you recommend leave them down below in the comment section let's talk and thank you guys so much for watching today's video i will see you guys in my next one bye